Hey guys, it's Tanja Iceworth, and today is going to be a very special video. Um, it's actually a continuation of a project I started a while ago. Um, today is going to be the review of the North Swedish horse, and I'm really excited for this one. Um, I absolutely love North Swedish horses, and Fire's going to get a lot of exercise, and he's going to get to see his friends a lot today. So, let's just get straight into it. So just before we uh, go into the coat colors and gates, I just kind of wanted to give a little bit of a background of the breed in the game. So the there are two versions of the North Swedish horse, an old model and a new model. The older model made its debut on August 27, 2014, and the newer model made its debut on February 7, 2018. The older model does share a lot of similarities with the Tinker horse. Um, in both uh, body type and gait, uh, and the newer model does not share its body type with anything except for uh, the specific um, Jorvik wild horse that was shown in the Winter Village this year, and its gaits uh, share some similarities with the Connemara's gaits, as a lot of horse breeds are tending to nowadays in the game. Um, and a nice bit of a nice little uh, tidbit for the Connemara, or sorry, for the North Swedish horse is that they can get their tails cut a little bit shorter if you can see that on my friend's um, North Swedish horse. That is only for the newer models of North Swedish horse, but it is a really nice and unique feature. It's only for the North Swedish horse. With that being said, let's go take a look at all of the different coat colors that you can purchase. Here is the beautiful Golden Bay North Swedish horse. This is the lovely Dapple Seal Brown. Here is the gorgeous Palomino. Here is the beautiful Cremello. Here is the beautiful Dapple Bay Pangaree, and I apologize if I'm saying that wrong. Here is the sun bleached black. And last but certainly not least, here is the flax and chestnut.
I am joined by Catherine Cattallen on her beautiful Dapple Seal Brown North Swedish horse, whose name is Rose. Honestly, she's one of the ones that I want really badly. Um, and these gates are just amazing. This is the walk. It's just so flowy and light, and here's the trot. It, they just look so calm and precise. And oh my god. So this was a bit of an experiment. Um, one of my friends had an old more Swedish model, and so we decided to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I am joined by Christina Armpark on her Flax and Chestnut uh, North Swedish horse named Sundrop. They're really beautiful. Um, and you can already kind of see the differences between the North Swedish horses. The old model is kind of stiff and bulky, and his head nods, he looks very much like a parade horse um, compared to the new North Swedish horse uh, that just kind of looks calm and collected. Um, and that kind of continues on as the gates increase. There is one more version of the North Swedish horse, and that is for this beautiful Jorvik wild horse. Uh, they released it in the Christmas Village. It has since gone away um, because it left with the Christmas Village, but it shares the same gait and body type as a North Swedish horse while still keeping a Jorvik wild's signature mane and um, changing color. Um, I am absolutely in love with this breed. I mean, I pretty much love it to death. Fire and Rose are both super, super cute, and so is Raven, the sun-bleached black that I was riding earlier. Um, and Sundrop, who is Christina Armparks, um, Ch Flax and Chestnut, North Swedish. I mean, they're all just gorgeous and so, so cute. Um, and I really would recommend them to anyone who's uh, looking at um, 
one of these horses to buy between any other horse. I think they might have to be one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite breeds in Star Stable. Um, their trot, I mean, they're all of their gates are just amazing, and I really like the um, extra thing you can do with their tails, where you can cut off part of their tails to keep it short. I think they're just like a really amazing breed overall and they're kind of the whole package because they are also cold resistant which is nice. Before I go, I do want to announce the winner, um, the person who figured out where I was last week, and that is Stella Spring Beach, and I'll link her in the description box below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it maybe helped you in your decision to purchase a North Swedish horse. Um, I would highly recommend getting one of these horses. You probably could already tell that, though. Anyways, this was a continuation of a series I hope to do more often, uh, where I review horses in Star Stable. Let me know who I should do next in the comments section below. See y'all next week. Bye!